one gym bag. What is going on everybody? I thought it was about time I showed you guys what is in my gym bag. Shut up! What is up everyone? One gym bag that's about to get unopened so you guys can see exactly what I take to the gym. I've been asked a couple of times um, what is in my gym bag. If you guys actually know me in person, I hardly ever take a bag to the gym. I've always got shit coming off my, like, out of my hands, out of my pockets, fucking always leaving shit everywhere. Um, so a gym bag is definitely something I need. Uh, it's something I've had for a while and it's something that gives you a little snapshot of uh, the way I train and what I take to the gym, blah, blah, blah. But basically what happens is I'll choose what I'm training, I know what I need, I'll come to my gym bag that's sitting in my room, I'll grab what I need out of it, stick it in my pockets and then go to the gym, which is stupid because I should just grab the whole thing and go, shouldn't I? So now I'm going to show you what I have in my gym bag. Here we go. All right. Now, if you guys know me at all, I never used to wear a cap. I'm not sure when it sort of started. I think my sister might have given me a hat for a present for my birthday, I think. Um, it was an NBA one. I always thought that I looked like shit in a cap. Um, until I got that one, I actually liked it because my head's quite big and I don't like I don't like the look of snapbacks if you've got any more than three um, exposed knobs <laughs> on the hat and that's just the way I like to wear it so when I got the hat that I liked from my sister I started wearing it and from that day forward from about the last two years I haven't stopped wearing a hat so first things first is the hat and that always goes on for the gym I don't know what it is I really don't because in the middle of the night I'll still wear a hat in the gym sometimes and it's like I know some people probably think you're an idiot but I don't know just puts me in the good mood makes me look swole I just like it so the hat is number one number two would be shoes now another funny thing if you guys know me in person I never wear shoes in the gym and that, once again, is just a comfort thing. Um, especially doing deadlifts and squats. Uh, I love being in, in, uh, in socks. Not bare feet, but socks. But at the end of the day, man, that's just fucking dangerous. I've seen a couple of guys in the gym, um, you know, break their toes from plates. So, recently I've been wearing shoes more often. Um, but, yeah, for deadlifts I'll take them off and for squats I'll take them off. But for everything else I'll wear shoes. And if you guys have been following me, I bought these a few weeks ago and they've done the job. They're amazing. They're actually basketball shoes, so they've got a really nice and solid heel. So um, for squatting, I'll actually wear these. So I actually said a lie before. I have bare feet for, for deadlifts, but I wear these for squats now. Um, and they're awesome, man. They're fucking like three or four weeks old. I've worn them in sand, I've worn them in dust, and they still look pretty much brand new. So. You can't go wrong with those. All right, now, a couple of things here. Um, well, I'll start off with this. So this is my weightlifting belt. I've only just bought this recently too. Um, usually I would just use uh, the spare belt that's in the gym, but it's actually a piece of shit. So I decided to buy my own and this is perfect. It's not too wide, um, it's not too rigid, it's just perfect. You can really wrap yourself up nice and tight around your, you know, around your um, lower back and keep it nice and tight. So I use the, I use a, um, a weightlifting belt for, for back, I'll use it for legs um, and also for shoulder press as well. If I'm doing a standing shoulder press, it just not, keeps everything nice and tight. But um, I'm not one of those guys that wears it for every workout. Although I do like the look of a nice and tight fucking pulled in waist um, when you're doing a back workout. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. Because your lats are like, you know, pumped up and they're fucking folding over the, the belt and you just, you feel amazing. 
And uh, usually when I'm wearing that, I will be using my straps as well. Now these might be the, the oldest, rattiest looking straps you've ever seen, but they've done me well. They've seen me go from 140 kg deadlift for like two reps uh, to at least 12 reps at 140. So these straps have seen some gains, that's for sure. And they cost me about 30 bucks and I'm going to keep wearing them until they strap, until they uh, um, snap. <laughs> and until I'm lifting fucking 250, 260 kgs, I don't think they're going to uh, snap. So these two things always go together, obviously. Not only do I use these for back day, but I also use it for biceps. Um, if you're going to go, if you're going to go pick up the dumbbells, put it on, really wrap, wrap your hand up into the dumbbell and then pick it up and you've got such a solid grip man it's way more of a solid grip than just picking up a dumbbell just just with your hands if you wrap yourself up with straps people might look at you stupid for using straps doing bicep curls but mate do you want good biceps or do you not so do you want to have the mind muscle connection or do you not and this is something that i use for that uh, third piece of equipment, essential, is knee wraps. Uh, these ones I got from eBay, they were pretty cheap. They're actually probably not the best for my knee because the way my knee folds, um, these, these things sort of get like rolled up and creased and stuff. I want it to be nice and smooth the whole way along my leg, but the way my leg goes it doesn't do that. But um, if you guys have ever used straps or if you've used wraps before, you know how, how well they help. Um, these definitely don't give you as much uh, cushioning as wraps will because you can really wrap them up nice and tight. But uh, they definitely give you a little bit of extra uh, joint cushioning and let, let you put, uh, push a little bit of extra weight. Um, might put 10, 20 kgs on your squat. Uh, and yeah, they're just a, a really essential leg day item that I've only just invested in recently. So this is actually part of the reason why I'm doing this is because I've finally got, you know, my gym bag sorted. I've got everything sorted that I need in here. So that's why I'm showing you. All right, I'm getting to the end of it now. Shaker, Team Massive Joes. I fucking love Team Massive Joes. I've learnt, man, I have. There's so many knowledge bombs in every single episode of Team Massive Joes on YouTube. I've seen them grow from 10,000 uh, subscribers and they're nearly up to 100,000. Um, I've been watching them for at least two, two, like two and a half years and I love them, man. They're, uh, they're idols and they're inspirations of mine. So thanks Team Massive Joes and I support your shaker everywhere. Just know that. Not only do I sport your shaker, but I sport your throwback tee, which I love. It's probably one of my favorite Team Massive Joe's tops. Hang on. Um, and yeah, the fact that it's Team Massive Joe's doesn't really mean anything. Basically, I just have an extra training top in my bag. Um, the type of training top I like these days, I've gone through stages, I used to like stringers, then cut off tees, then tight t-shirts. Now I actually like baggy t-shirts, and quite frankly, the longer the sleeve comes down on my arm, the better. I hate fucking t-shirts that the sleeves are too short. Not only do they look stupid, but you give them one wash and the sleeve goes from being here to up here. And it's, it's just stupid. So I like something nice and baggy that keeps its shape and that if I really need to, I can tighten the sleeves with a little safety pin and make them come nice and hug. Hugging the sleeves. Hugging the sleeves. Uh, right. Another piece of equipment. You guys must think I'm a fucking master, but I've, I've only just got most of this stuff recently. I've already, I've always used it, but now it's, I've got it for myself so this is a little foam roller the death of many people and I bought it for about 30 bucks and it's a small one you get long ones small ones uh, you get ones with little nodules on them 
but uh, this one fits in my bag so that's why I got that one. I actually got it from the chiropractor but I'm sure you can buy it from many many different places. A um, couple of things I just threw in here for the hell of it. I don't normally have these in here but I've got my tape measure. I just got this for free with a supplement order. Um, it's so easy, you just hook it in. You, well, you give yourself a few extra inches, you hook it in like that, press this button, and it just gets pulled tight around whatever you're, whatever you're measuring. So it's always good for arms after an arm pump. See where you're at. But you should always measure them cold, flexed, first thing in the morning, no pump. That's how you should measure your biceps. Headphones, an absolute key. I throw, I'm going to put them back in there now. An extra set of headphones because the last thing you want to do is get to the fucking gym without your headphones. I've done it too many times. And uh, my workouts suffer. I'm not going to lie. I love mu music in the gym and I recommend it to all. And then finally, guys, might be the most important thing. I don't know. But we've got deodorant. It's a must. It's a no-brainer, especially if you're going to work afterwards, or you, you know, you're um, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to go into it, guys. Get your fucking deodorant. So that is my gym bag, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Right now, funnily enough, I've actually got a back session. So uh, what I'm going to do is finish off this video edit it a little bit and then I'm going to go and smash some back at the gym and uh, we're going to go make some gains so I hope you guys enjoyed more videos coming soon peace